What's up nerds, I'm Jesse aka Flankmaster, Team Captain of Magic Smoke, and Certified Safety Nut. Today we're tackling a topic that's absolutely critical for anyone playing Nerf, eye protection. There's links in the description for all the products I'm going to talk about today. They're not affiliate links, I just want you to be safe. We only get one set of eyes, but I've seen way too many close calls and really unsafe practices in this hobby regarding eye pro. The three elements of good eye protection are impact rating, full coverage, and a retention strap. Glasses not rated for impacts can be easily damaged by a dart. The most common standard you'll encounter is ANSI Z87 or Z87.1. If you see just a Z87 or Z87.1 impact rating on a pair of glasses, it means they meet basic impact resistance. Avoid glasses with no ratings. Z87.1 also covers things like UV protection and optical clarity. This is usually okay for HVZ or gameplay below 200 FPS, but for competitive nerf, we'll need more. For high FPS competitive play, look for a plus sign. It means the eyewear has passed a more rigorous set of tests for high mass and high velocity impacts, such as a steel ball impacting the lens at 350 FPS. This is what you need for competitive nerf due to the high energy impacts. Always look for ANSI Z87.1 plus for high impact resistance. Z87 or Z87.1 alone is not enough impact protection for high FPS play. The impact rating is only one element of good eye pro. The next element is coverage. These are your basic wraparound style glasses. They're generally inexpensive and provide good peripheral protection and often have different lens tints available for outdoor play. Make sure that a dart cannot fit past the glasses or hit the soft area around your eye. For those of us who wear prescription glasses, over the glasses options are a lifesaver. They're designed to comfortably fit over your existing eyewear. Your standard glasses are not eye protection. The lenses can be easily punched out by a dart and they do not provide full eye coverage. Some Z87 rated prescription glasses come with side shields, which work at low FPS, but they're not suitable for competitive play. If you don't want to use an OTG goggle, ask your optometrist about Z87 plus rated prescription glasses or inserts for masks. Lastly, goggles and full face masks offer the most comprehensive protection. They can also have issues with fogging, so pick a model with good ventilation. Full face masks can also muffle hearing and speaking. One benefit of these is that they come with a built-in retention strap. Which brings me to my next point, retention straps. Proper eyewear only protects you if it stays in place. I've seen it fall off mid-game and one of my friends got shot in the eye. She was partially blind in that eye for over a week. Eyewear can easily fall off during fast placed gameplay, so use a retention strap. Some iPro has built-in straps, but you can also buy a separate strap that attaches to the iPro. Adjust it snugly so the glasses cannot slide or be pulled out of place. Now you know the three elements of good eye protection. Appropriate impact rating, look for the plus sign for competitive play. Full coverage and a retention strap. Remember, eye protection only helps you if you're wearing it. Keep it on always on the field, even if it fogs, and wear it while spectating and in the staging area if blasters are being fired. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the field.